Well, the guys are supposed to come here tomorrow to put the countertops in. I still have to take this one piece out. I've already taken out all the screws. Look at all the screws that were in here. Most of those came out of this one piece of plywood. Granted, there was, there was three or four here and like two over there. The rest of the screws were over here. And I've got to, I've got to pull this piece out and I'm glad I started on Tuesday. Here it is Sunday already. And you know, you're gonna do things on your own. Give yourself enough time in case uh, during the week things get away from you and you get tired or you, you end up needing to do something else over the weekend and, it, and you still have enough time to get your job done. Now, even though they, they put in all these screws, I also put little tiny finish nails in here and construction adhesive. And on this particular piece, uh, there's a piece here and there's a flat piece of probably a one by two or something like that. So I took out a couple other screws that I didn't see and I just used my stiff putty knife and hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it all the way. And now I, I got this slightly loose. But see now, I've got to go from here this way. I need to get this, I need to get this edge loose so that then I can come over here and get this edge where the where the dishwasher was. See, it's nailed. It's nailed all the way through here. And where this half wall is, uh, as, as soon as I get this loose here, then I can get a pry bar under where this wall is and, and jerk on it and try to try to raise this whole thing starting from this end, or maybe if I get this. If I get this edge loose, I can, I can lift it up this way to get it loose over here and then take it and lift it, lift it up this way, you know? And uh, I already went around these corbels and I scored them because I'm not, I wasn't sure, I scored them with a sheetrock knife because I wasn't sure if the last person before they painted those caulked that, but they did caulk it they did caulk it where this trim is here, up here. So I had to give that a two, two run bys with my sheetrock knife all the way down there. Score, 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 score. That's going to help lift this up, right? And so now, now I've got to, I've got to take this up right along here. And I wasn't sure where I was going to, where I was going to set you up. I, I guess I can set you right there. And I'm just gonna, uh, see I can only, I gotta be real careful with this because there's just one piece of, uh, of trim at the top of where the, these fake drawers were, so it's only two inches tall. And to loosen that, I've gotta go along here and lift this up with my screwdriver. First start off, just to try to get it up high enough and then get my hacksaw, just a hacksaw blade. And see, that was the first nail right there. Here's another one. And once I do that, I can move this along. I can't get a pry bar in there just yet because there's really not enough room. That's all I can do to raise this up enough to come to the next nail over here and get it. And see, now I've gotten that one. I can lift up on this. Maybe go one more. Nope, I can't. I gotta move this along. Pull that out. Get this in here. Not too much because I don't want to break that. See there? Now I can raise that up enough to get to the next loop. nail. See? And if you want to save something, 
That's what you got to do, stuff like this. I can pry that up. Now I could probably take my flat bar back here. that up a little you just you just have to do a little bit at a time strategically and I've got to I've got to go over to there and I'm just gonna keep working on it I don't think I'm gonna show you the whole thing right here but Now what else can I use in there? Could probably put this in. And I don't want to force it. I put a crowbar in there and jerked up. Instead of this coming up, it could possibly break my, my face frame. Because they might have it not only nailed, but also glued with contact or uh, with uh, uh, construction adhesive. But if I put something in there, I've got to make sure to be careful it doesn't fall out and scratch my my wall or my uh, my face frame or my doors. I don't usually like using pry bars there. I can leave this one in here, see? I can leave that one as I continue. And this is my, my crummy screwdriver I use for all kinds of stuff. Pry on that a little bit. Can you believe that? That's all. That's all I've done. The other pieces of plywood on the on the, the front edge, like like this piece here. This piece here was a pain. I had to do the same technique, starting from that corner, working up here, going across this way, because you don't want to pry in on your finished edge and get it to bead off or get it to flake off, because that's part of your finish. See. And the same thing with this one. This one was tough. I had to do that same technique all the way along here, all the way along here, along here, along there, just to get it far enough to then try to muscle this thing up and bend it up. So see, if I keep doing that, you can see, once I get this edge loose, then I can see what is, what is holding here. And, and they've probably got this nailed here. I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Just yet, I'm hoping not to have to cut that with a uh, scale saw up next to the, the edge of there and then keep doing this technique from there. I think if I get it far enough here, then I can put a, another pry bar, crowbar, whatever, right in here. But I can't do that until I get this big enough so that I don't mess up the front of this face frame and the front of that face frame and all that. You see what I'm saying? So I just have to bite the bullet and take my time with this. That's, I, I have no, no real other options. All because they wanted this plywood taken off. Now sometimes countertop guys want the plywood left. It just depends what type of material you're going to use and all that because see with granite, granite's usually about three quarters thick or so and then they do their edges differently. They'll, 
they'll round off one edge and if you want a bull nose, then they add another little piece underneath it, wrap that bull nose uh, and glue it together so there's two pieces making the, making the full wrap and then the edge looks like it's about an inch and a half thick or so. Well with this quartz material, the quartz material is about an inch and uh, three eighths the guy was saying, something like that. And they don't want to add that second piece underneath there. If they, if they, and if they didn't, and they just ran it across, you'd see the edge of this plywood. See all the way around. And they didn't want to add another piece, because if they add another piece uh, to their uh, particular product, uh, it could hit the top edge of your drawers. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's why, that's why they, want, they want the whole edge cleaned off like this, just the, just the cabinet. Just the cabinet with no plywood on top of it. That way when they come out, their whole material, it, they'll bow nose that or they'll just do an eased edge over the top, depending on what kind you want. And then it's gonna come straight out at the bottom of that and that's gonna be their finished product. You see what I mean? So there's different ways to do your counters. So, um, because there was an existing countertop on here, obviously I, 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 I really have to take my time, energy, focus, on <laughs> taking this out the proper way, right? So that I don't damage, the last thing I want to do is damage the countertop or the, the cabinet edge or any of the face, face frames uh, because if I, if I if I bend too much, I could crack something, then all of a sudden, oh, my face frame's got a crack in it, or it's got a big old gouge, or, or the front edge, the front edge of my, of, of my trim, like where this is, I can't just, just start wedging on that with a crowbar and dig into that, because this is the finished edge, see? So I have to just keep, keep her going the way I've been doing it, and then once I pull this off, there's going to be a ledge of the, the nail's going to be there, so I have to take my raft, raft the top of the nail off, or take a nail set and tap those in. And then there'll be, if, if they put construction adhesive underneath this, which I'm sure they did, because they did, they did on these other, they did on these other cabinets. Oh, that was a pain in the rear too, to clean this off nice. All the way along there, that took forever. Because see, the construction adhesive is on here like that. This one had even ripped off all the plywood. That's how strong the construction adhesive was along here. And that took me a while just to clean that all up. And so I still have my work cut out for me. It's Sunday afternoon and I've got to get this done because once I get done with this, I want to clean up, vacuum everything out and get everything ready for them uh, so I don't have to mess with it tomorrow. Even on the floor, I don't think I necessarily need to sweep up the floor anymore, but this thing is full of dust. No matter how many times I go over it with this broom, uh, there's going to be dust on the floor. Or if I go over it with a fine hand broom, it, there's, it, dust is going to fly up again. So I don't want to do that anymore. I'm pretty much done with this plastic, but I'm not going to take the plastic down. When I get all done with this, I've got to take the craft paper off, and then I'm actually going to vacuum out the drawers and everything that fell in underneath, un underneath everything. I'm going to vacuum all that. I'm even going to vacuum uh, with the hand attachment on my vacuum. Um, I'm going to vacuum the floor, and that'll take up all of the dust on here. It'll be nice and clean, ready for the, the countertop guys to come in here. And I, I think, like I was saying before, I'm going to leave this up because they're going to be here tomorrow. So it's only one extra night of leaving the blue tape up. And uh, if you're counting, I put the tape up on Tuesday. So Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. Six, six nights of having that blue tape up on flat ceiling paint. And we'll see how well that comes off without marking up, without pulling off the paint. I think it's going to be okay. And that's flat paint up there. We got uh, eggshell finish, which, which is a low sheen enamel type paint on the wall. So, so I'm really not concerned too much about that, but I've, I, I went the extra mile and used the blue tape on there. Okay, so tomorrow, what I'll do is I'll pull this, I'll, I'll pull up the tape 
probably to there and just kind of fold this back. And then uh, I think that'll give them enough room. I'm not gonna rip this down and, until they come. If they say, ah, oh, no, we, we, we wanna come in on a wide angle or something, let's, let's take this, this plastic down. We're not gonna make, we're not gonna make any mess. Because see, when they come, they're get, they have to drill two holes for the sink faucet and for the, uh, if you decide to do an air gap for your dishwasher, or, and if you want a, a soap a hand pump dispenser, you might have three holes that they have to drill, Not, or two holes, if you just want two holes, whatever. But they don't do that until they come out on the job site. That way they, that way they uh, review it with you on the exact locations. And I don't know if they're gonna actually drill that right here, or if they're gonna talk to me about it, and then if they're gonna drill it, you know, if they're gonna set up some saw, saw horses or something, uh, outside and drill it outside wipe the countertop down before they bring it in here I have no idea but but if they drill it here uh, it might throw up a lot of dust I have no idea okay so another reason why I'm not gonna really take this down tonight I might as well just be safe rather than sorry and look at this my cat she had it she had a nice time in here didn't she look at this she made a hole there the other day I taped that all up and then she Got her claws up here and she wanted to come in here and mess around and stuff, but that's okay because I'm pretty much done with all the dust. Okay, she even ripped a little hole over here. So if you got cats and you got plastic up, you're just gonna have to kind of be careful with it. And I told Mommy the whole time, you know, if we wanted to go out on the deck, we have to keep the door closed. I didn't want air coming in here. I didn't want the ceiling fan on. I didn't want the air conditioner on. Anything like that because then that, that blows your plastic all around and then it could start blowing it off the wall, your tape, and, and all of a sudden you, you come back and your, your whole wall has fallen down because it was so windy in here because you forgot about the ceiling fan and the out, and it was, and you had a window open or something, it was a windy day or something. The last thing you want to do is anything like that because if you're in here, the idea is you want this all self-contained. You don't want the dust to, from this room going out from here, that's that was the whole reason for this, right? And when I take this down too, I got to be real careful. After I get it all swept up and everything, uh, another reason why I don't want to sweep up today because it's going to throw more dust in the air. And once that dust, those fine particles get in this air, it could take it could take two or three hours before everything settles down to the floor. Okay, so when I get done pulling this up, scraping everything, cleaning. Uh, then I'll use, like I said, I'll use the vacuum and, and I'll, I'll, I'll vacuum out the uh, cabinets, I'll vacuum this floor, psh, 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 back and forth. I'm not even going to sweep it, okay? And then tomorrow when those guys get done, that's when I'll pull this plastic down. And the plastic, mind you, has dust on the inside of it. So when I take this plastic down, I'm going to take it down as carefully as I can, obviously, but it's going to, some of this dust is going to come out as you roll up the plastic and all that kind of stuff. So don't be too uh, disappointed in, well, after your countertops get in and you take your plastic down that your countertops are going to have a, a slight film layer of dust on it. And I may have to vacuum up the floors again and all of the preceding area out here. I'll have to wipe down everything out, outside this room and uh, clean the, uh, the vinyl tile flooring and stuff. And, and that's a point too. Before I get done with this room, ah, what I probably should do is sweep down the walls. Sweep down the walls and the ceiling with this broom. And that might be something I'll, I'll wanna do uh, pretty soon so that, the, so while I'm working on this, that dust can kind of filter down and hit the floor and stuff so that when I vacuum up, everything's pretty much going to be dust free in here. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so away I go. I'm going to continue uh, doing this and see if I just leave that right there, I, I should be able to get it up high enough to cut the next nail. And see, those finished nails are, are pretty small. They're not real big. They're from a nail gun. And see, here's, here's, here's one right here. 
See there, look how thin that is. See? These, I couldn't get out. I just had to rip this off. But on the front of it, uh, you can see where I've cut, I've, I've actually cut these all the way down with my hacksaw, on. That's how I did it, just like this. There's no, there's no real uh, trick about it. It's just, it's just time consuming and tedious. That's the trick. How much patience do you have? I mean, if, you, if you're not a patient type of person, you need to get this done in one day. It may not happen as easy as you thought. There was three nails right there. There, see there? I got that, I got that popped up from there. See, so I'm not gonna pry on it just yet, but I can get, I can get my other bar in here. Uh, I'm not gonna pry yet. But see, I can do that. I can beat this in a little bit more. I can beat that one in a little bit more. But before I do that, I've got to come over here and I want to get this piece, this piece out of here. And I just have to be careful. I don't want to use my screwdriver because I don't have a gap there. If I use that, I'm going to make a depression in there. And if you look underneath, when they put the new counter, you're gonna see where I pried up on that. You'll be like, sure enough, there it is. So see, I've gotta get my, my smaller, my smaller one, and I'm wondering, I might do it right here, because that's gonna be inside where the dishwasher is, right? Like that. Okay, now, I think I got it up far enough, oh. Uh, now sometimes you have you want to look at your cabinets too and see if see if anybody screwed anything in from underneath here and and there were some brackets that went up there but there's nothing there so so I'm okay and I think before I wedge that if I yeah see I don't I don't even have enough room for that I've got just enough. See, I have not, I have not gouged that at all. Now this one's got quite a few nails. There's that, there's the first one right there. And I think it's big enough to wedge that in there. Get the next nail. Now I can put this back over over there, and I got more room now. So, see, I can do that to get these other nails. There, okay. Now before I wanna, before I, I try to lift that, let's see if I can get you situated. Before I lift this, if I lift it, and if it comes up too hard, this one could fall out of there and come down, gouge my floor, gouge the paper, gouge my face frame, gouge my door. Now see that one, that one over there is fine because it, it's not going to fall anywhere, but this one could. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out. In fact, maybe I'm going to wedge up on it. Now see, I can put that back. This piece is only three quarters of an inch. You have to be careful. I want to put my whole wedge on the three quarters, not the edge of it, and, and, and rip the edge of it off or something. Okay. I don't want to pry too much on that. I can lift up on it, because I don't want this, this front edge to rip or anything. And I'm gonna, kind of lift on here to see what's happening and that that's looking actually oh, uh, that's actually looking pretty good okay but before before I just rip it off 
you know, I want to make sure it's loose over there. So I'm not going to be like a bull in a china shop and start lifting it and then thinking, oops, I should have, I should have done this. I should have done that. I'm going to take my two by four and put that in there like that. Okay. And I'm, I'm thinking I can, I can raise this side up over here. Let's get these put away. Not so much, huh? I thought I had this loose over, and I'm pretty sure I do. That piece is only three quarters, but it's behind. There's a cavity right here. There's no cabinet underneath there. The cabinet stops here. This cabinet stops here. When you order cabinets, you might want your cabinet to go all the way across, or this one over here to go all the way that way. Open up the door, and at least you'd have some room. I mean, they do different, different kinds of uh, setups. This was 15 years ago. They decided they didn't do that. So if I wedge too far in here and break something, it's going to be uh, hidden. You know what I mean? So I'm going to see what I can do. That edge over there, I, I'm probably only going to have a one by over there. So I have to make sure that sets on top of the one by and, and such, you know, you can, you can figure this kind of stuff out. You just have to kind of get in there and think about what you're doing and that kind of thing. Let's see, I had, I had screws. In there. I took all these screws up and they, and they put uh, construction adhesive underneath it, but, and I'm hoping they didn't also nail it. Some places they screwed it and nailed it. So see, now that, that's loose, right? So that's good. Now, maybe I can take this over there. And then put this one here. And I can see where it's it's not really loose right in here. And it still has some, some uh, construction adhesive right in there. And I want to be careful not to just it. Now, son of a gun, I think there's a screw right there. And sometimes you may think there's no screws when there actually is. Look at that. There's one right there. A big long one. That's because when they put it in, it sunk down below the plywood and I couldn't really see it. So, had I not checked that, I wanted to start ripping it, it wouldn't have come, come would it? Okay, so then now maybe I can put my 2 by 4 in here. Like that. Now you can shine a flashlight under there, what have you. You know, to see if you got anything else in there. I'm going to move this stuff and, and see. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to see what, whether or not I can kind of raise this from this edge. Uh, uh, oh, look at that. Look at that. I had everything scored and I think I've, I think I've loosened the whole thing. I 
certainly do think it. Are you okay? Now trust me, most pieces of plywood are not going to come off this easily. Look at that. Got her. Okay? And that that was that would I would never have been able to do that had I have not gotten up that front edge. Okay? I see here. This was this had glue on it and I had to I had to uh, use my putty knife through there, even though it had screws in it too, and and all of that. And we'll get this. I'm going to get this off and uh, slide it out of here, I think, and see what I have to do about cleaning up this edge because it's not ready just yet um, to have the countertop the new countertop installed yet. I still have some more prep work. It's all in the prep, baby. Just like always. Oh, you'll get a laugh out of this. It is there, see? There it is. Right there, that little piece. I thought I had it saved. I looked down there and I didn't see it. But I'll fix that in the morning. <laughs>